Karen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Carol. Fine, thanks to you. Well, that's good. Welcome to Secret Health, Beauty and Day Spa. We are so excited to have you here with us today. Thank you very much for having me. And on this episode today, we are going to spoil our beautiful winner, Carol, with gorgeous lashes, with permanent makeup and some waxing. Enjoy. We are here with Carmen today who is going to be doing Carol's facial waxing. So tell us a little bit about the waxing procedure and why do you feel it's better than shaving and what other procedures can you do for hair removal? Okay, waxing is so much better than shaving. As you know, shaving causes a second hair growth and causes stubble and you have to shave every day. Whereas waxing, you would need a procedure maybe once a month or every six weeks. Different procedures, waxing, threading, or epilating, which are both pulling out the root and or else killing the hair growth and by killing the hair growth you're reducing your your hair root survival and then you get a smoother finish in the end. And what are we going to be doing for Carol today? So today we're going to be waxing Carol's eyebrows and her upper lip. As you can see Carol has minimal hair um, eyebrows but underneath she has got the hair growth she will be doing the microblading, which will show, give her a lovely eyebrow shape. But in order to do that, we need to clean up so that she gets the beautiful shape and she will be having her lip waxed. Wonderful. So to start, we're going to use our pre-cleanse just to remove any residual oil on the skin, any makeup that you may have. So it helps to dry out the skin so that the wax attaches to the hair. There is a lot of people think that we rip off the skin, but we don't. The hot wax that we use for the facial area actually attaches to the hair and not to the skin growth. Okay. Apply a bit of powder. Why do you apply powder? Powder helps to dry out the skin so that the wax can actually uh, stick. Yes. stick. your eyes closed for me, Carol. I don't want to wax your eyelashes. Are there various waxes that you use? There are various waxes. For facial and facial underarm leg areas, we use what's called a hot wax. Where's this set? For your legs and your bigger areas, we use what's called a strip wax. And that's where you use that piece of paper as well? Yes. It's quicker, it's easier in the bigger areas. Um, and it's you wouldn't use it on the facial areas because it sticks at the facial area is a more sensitive area what you would normally do for eyebrow shaping is look at the eyebrows look at the face and see if they have a natural arch Carol does have her natural arch she does she's got a beautiful shape eyebrow Hang on. okay okay that's our removal Thank you so much, Carmen, and wow, it is a quick process. And uh, if you want to see the final of this, then please don't miss out on episode 13 to see our final reveal of her beautiful waxing. We are going to move on now to the microblading. And here we are with Taryn, who's going to be spoiling Carol with gorgeous microblading and giving her the best brows in town. Hi, Kareen. Hi, lovely to meet you and thank you so much for joining us and for spoiling, for spoiling our beautiful winner. Thank you, thank you so for So tell us a little me. bit about your business. So I'm the owner and founder of Taryn Woods Aesthetics. I'm a micropigmentation specialist and trainer in the industry and I've been around for quite some time and specialize in permanent makeup and, and microblading and shading just to enhance our faces, isn't yeah. it? And why do you find that this is a good procedure and a good uh, and something special for people to do for themselves? You know what, it just gives yourself confidence. Especially like with Carol, for instance, she hasn't got brows. It's very light, very faint. It just gives her that extra boost of yes. her self-esteem. Yeah, because that's brows lacking. frame the face. And Absolutely frames the yes. face. It softens your features. It enhances other features. It's just a subtle, beautiful way of looking good and feeling good again. Yeah, oh, lovely. And what are we going to do with, with Carol today? So with Carol today, she's obviously got a very soft undertone, very light. 
you're taking age into consideration. You don't want to go and give her these harsh, harsh, harsh brows. So permanent makeup, obviously, in the past is deemed as very harsh. And, you know, people get a fright when they look at you. But thankfully, technology is advanced, so we don't do that anymore. So I would say a definitely, definitely a bit of microblading because her hair is obviously non-existent. You don't see anything there being present. So in order to give her the simulated effect of hair being present, we'll definitely do some microblading on the eyebrows. And then to soften the look, we we'll definitely do a combination brow by meaning we're putting in a powder brow with the permanent makeup machine. So it'll just enhance your features and soften the face as well. When it heals, it'll look beautiful and subtle and you'll have brows present. Taryn, is there special care that you have to look after your eyebrows after you've had your microblading? Uh, tell us a little bit about those procedures. Yeah, 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 of course. Most definitely, it's very important to follow aftercare after having a procedure as it's done. Otherwise, your result won't be what we want it to be. So at the end of the day, in order to get your perfect brows, there's a pre-treatment to be followed at least one week prior to having such a procedure done. And then we've got an aftercare to be followed, which is very important. So no direct sunlight for seven days, no swimming in the sea, no swimming in the pool, and avoid any, any, any excess sweating that is very essential and obviously not soaking them under water so those are our main main areas of concern and other than that they're going to heal beautifully thank you so much Taryn for spoiling Carol with these beautiful brows and if you want to see the gorgeous results make sure that you don't miss our last episode with the big reveal and now we're moving on to lashes for Carol's spoil with Cindy, our lash queen. So Cindy, welcome and thank you for doing the lashes on, on Carol. She is very excited, I know that. So tell us a little bit about your business. Thank you, Corrine. Um, now, I was a, um, in the corporate business for all my life. In 2007, I started my beauty journey um, and never got to pursue it. In 2014, I got so interested in lashes that I decided that is what I wanted to do with my life. Still working in the corporate industry, couldn't really do what I wanted to do. Decided in 2016, I want to start with microblading. Oh, lovely. And yeah, and then um, in 2019, April, I got the opportunity to start my own business and that's where I um, started working on my dream. Fantastic. Oh, that's so mm. exciting and well done for following your dream. That's what life's all about. Thank you, Karine. Definitely. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about lashes because that's what we're going to be spoiling our beautiful winner with today. Mm -hmm. So do you think that using fake lashes or, or lash extensions, I should say, that's the more modern term, uh, can destroy your actual lashes? Because I know that a lot of people think that they're scared to use them because of that. So, okay, with regards to damaging lashes, I think um, it is all depending on both parties, client and lash artist. First of all, I think it starts with me putting on lashes. I need to look at the client's lashes and see in what condition her lashes are. Is she, um, if she has thin, um, thin lashes, then obviously I would choose a weight um, of the extension that is lighter. And the same with the length. If you put on two um, long lashes, it could also cause it to break. Once the lashes is on and I know that I've done my part, then um, I leave everything in your hands. You need to look after your lashes. So they must no, be a home care. Yes. yes. So no picking, no pulling. Um, I think that's where the damaging yes. part comes in. And then also looking after your lashes. So aftercare is really important. You have to brush your lashes. You have to wash your lashes. Oh, really? Um, yes. So there is a lot of hygienic yes. um, in the lashes as well oh, okay. that you have to look after. Very interesting. And what journey are you going to take Carol on today? How are you planning on doing her lashes? Okay, well, if we can get her to sit up. So what we're doing with um, Carol today, just looking at her face and um, our shapes. I think with elderly ladies, um, I like to do a hybrid set. So um, that is basically a mix between classic lashes and volume lashes. Now classic lashes um, makes your lashes longer and volume lashes um, gives you more lashes. So what I'm going to do is in the middle, um, I'll do longer lashes to open up her eyes even more. Yeah. And then on the sides, I'll do shorter 
lashes with a different curl that I'm going to use in the middle to lift. It's going to give the illusion that her eyes are lifting on the ends. Oh, that'll look beautiful. Yes. Lovely. So not long now and you'll have gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> lashes. <laughs> and once Carol has had all her beautiful lashes applied, what is the lash care? How do you clean your lashes? How do you look after your lashes? Can you use mascara or shouldn't you use mascara? Okay, so I think the why you put lashes on is not to use mascara because that is the look that you wanted to create. You don't have to use any mascara. You wake up and you don't have to do anything. Um, with regards to the aftercare, I have started my own little um, retail. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, with a shampoo, a brush that you use with the shampoo, and just for um, a brush to brush it, because sometimes it does have its own mind. So how you would use this is you would pump a little bit of the shampoo in your hand, dip your little brush, your cleansing brush, and you just gently brushes and then thereafter you can just use it and brush it and you can put it in your handbag it won't be dirty so yeah, you have to look after your lashes um, in order for us to maintain this look oh well thank you Cindy and thank you for spoiling our beautiful winner on a new you and I'm sure she's gonna look absolutely gorgeous when she's had her lashes applied thank you Cindy thank you so much and I'm sure you're all wanting to see what the end result will be so don't miss our final episode on a new you episode 13 with the big reveal of her beautiful new lashes <laughs>